So these are um, some three frame, well they were three frame nukes and I put them out. It's, um, they were used for mating queen cells and they've since been transferred into these 10 frame boxes. But what I did is made an entrance reducer out of some core flute um, signboard. So just because they were uh, smallish colonies when they went out, it's easier to give them uh, less space to defend. And um, just gone through and done inspections today on the hives and they were looking really good. There was only one that was still weakish and it was weak when it got put in the, into the big hives so I've just um, borrowed a bit of brood and, and stores from other stronger hives and boosted that up. But I'll, um, I'll pop the lid on this and show you how strong this one is. So we'll just try and do all this one handed. Taking the lid off. And the inner cover. I already had a peak just earlier but I haven't actually gone through the, through the hive. So they started out as one frame of honey, one frame of brood and bees, and also one bear foundation frame. That's all they started with. And I put in a queen cell. It, this was all at the beginning of December last year, so December 2016. And since then, the queen's obviously mated and I left them for a month, came back and found the queen had mated and it was basically three frames of brood had been laid. I've transferred them into these 10 frame boxes. It's now the 9th of December, 2000, uh, 9th of January, sorry, 2017. And uh, we'll just have a, have a look inside, see what's what's going on. So as you can tell from the number of bees that's pretty strong. So I'm going to take, take out from these uh, from this side. came from this batch that are actually really strong as well. Yeah, which had these. I left my smoker back in the truck. So it's just pollen and honey on that frame. I'll leave that out down there. brood there it's all hatched out and this side there she got my heaps of honey in here That one's an older 
Actually join that frame. Let me hit that up. Anyway, you can see how strong, strong this one is. Here's a nice frame here, old brood. <laughs> As well, just pretty new frame. All those holes there are actually filled with pollen and nectar. So. This hive's about ready to do another big expansion. It's a bit of a poor season this year with, with honey flow, so I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them in this box with it being January now and just let them backfill themselves with honey stores and um, themselves nice and full for overwintering or I may split it or take some brood off to make another, another nucleus colony Yeah, that's anyway, that's what uh, they're up to. So it's what, five or six weeks now since they were made. Um, also there's a bit of traffic backing up behind me. I'm even going, just going to leave them for another week or so with the reduced entrance. This is a new site I'm at and uh, just not sure what's around, whether there's wasps around. Haven't seen any here yet, but uh, just leave them as a reduced entrance for a little bit longer. And I may leave it on, but I'll flip it over to that side there and get a bit more room to work with. It's certainly fine at the moment. Cheers!